If you find this video helpful, then feel free to donate whatever amount you can. Link is in the description below. For a circuit shown in figure, find number one values of R and L, that is resistance and inductance. Number two total voltage. Number three impedance and number four power factor. Assume F is equal to 60 hertz, that is frequency is equal to 60 hertz. So first of all, we have to find the value of resistance R. This resistance R. So resistance R is equal to, according to Ohm's law, voltage is equal to current into resistance. So here this will be voltage Vr divided by current I. Since the resistance and inductance are connected in series, so the current will be same in both, that is 2 ampere. So here this will be Vr is voltage across this resistance is Vr. This is Vr and this is Vl. So Vr is equal to 60 volt. So this will be 60 divided by current. The current will be same that is 2 ampere. So from here we can say resistance R is equal to 30 ohm. So therefore R is equal to 30 ohm. Then next we have to find the value of inductance inductance L. So inductance L to find inductance L first of all we have to find inductive reactance. So inductive reactance XL is equal to VL by I. Now again VL is 80 volt. So this will be 80 and the current will be same that is 2 ampere. So here this will be 2 ampere. So this will be 40 and the unit of inductive reactance is ohm. So therefore XL is equal to 40 ohm. Now from XL we can find the value of L that is XL is equal to 2 pi F into L. The value of XL is 40 is equal to 2 pi multiplied by F. F is the frequency and frequency is 60 hertz. So 60 multiplied by L. So from here L is equal to 40 divided by 2 pi into 60. 2 pi into 60. So this will be 40 divided by 2 pi multiplied by 60. So it is 0 0.106. 0 0.1061. And the unit of inductance is Henry. So therefore L is equal to 0 0.1061 Henry. Then next. Next step is to find the value of we have found the value of resistance R and inductance L. Then next is total voltage. So total voltage will be total voltage will be V. Total voltage will be V is equal to Here this V is equal to Vr plus Vl. Vr plus Vl. The value of Vr is 60 and the value of Vl is 80. So this will be 60 plus 80. 60 plus 80. And this will be 140 volt. So therefore total voltage V is equal to 140 volt. Then next we have to find impedance. So impedance Z is equal to under root of R square plus XL square at an angle of 10 inverse of XL by R. 
सो अंडर रूट ऑफ आर स्क्वायर इज थर्टी स्क्वायर प्लस एक्सएल स्क्वायर विल बी फोर्टी स्क्वायर एट एन एंगल ऑफ टेन इनवर्स ऑफ फोर्टी डिवाइडेड बाय थर्टी सो दिस विल बी अंडर रूट ऑफ थर्टी स्क्वायर प्लस फोर्टी स्क्वायर सो इट इज फिफ्टी एट एन एंगल ऑफ टेन इनवर्स ऑफ फोर्टी बाय थर्टी सो इट इज फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट वन थ्री फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट वन थ्री डिग्री दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ इम्पिडन्स जेड एंड इट्स यूनिट विल बी ओहोम then next we have to find power factor power factor is equal to power factor is equal to cos phi now here we simply we can simply put the value of this angle so it will be cos 53.13 degree so it will be cos 53.13 it is 0.6 now since the circuit contains resistance and inductance only so the power factor will be lagging there is one more way from which we can find the value of cos phi so this will be cos phi is equal to cos phi is equal to r upon z the value of r is value of resistance r is 30 and the value of impedance z is 50 so 30 divided by 50 will be 30 divided by 50 so it is also 0.6 so both the answers are same therefore power factor is equal to 0.6 power factor have no unit this is the value of power factor this is the value of impedance this is the value of voltage and this is the value of inductance and this is the value of resistance 